Good morning, good afternoon. Raquel Redmond from Brava Art Press presenting a project, a very fun project. Uh, it's about masks, paper mache masks. Masks are fun to make and fun to wear, but also I like to remind you that masks are uh, important in different um, cultures, uh, ancient cultures and um, tribal cultures and also for children to wear and have fun. This project presents the opportunity to link up with other areas of the curriculum, like if you are in working in a school situation, uh, you can link up with drama and social studies. It's, it will be a, for all the students, will be great to do uh, their own research about the use of masks in different societies or mask, the use of masks in theater. This project involves three stages, the making of the mask, the painting, and the decorating. So before you actually start making the masks, your teacher, probably with the help of parents or your help, if you are in grade three and grade four, up to grade eight or grade 10, you can pr prepare your materials. Paper, you can help to cut paper to that uh, size. So there's a lot of uh, things to prepare and things to collect. So probably you will need about two weeks as a project to source these uh, uh, materials that you are going to use and prepare. So it's a learning experience too. To do this project, we are going, as I said, by stages. So I shall talk about uh, the first stage and the materials that we are going to use on the first stage. I'm not going to talk about all the, the, the materials that we're going to use in different stages because it's too confusing. So we're going to keep it simple and we we'll just talk about how to make the mask, the actual uh, mold. For the first stage, we have certain materials here. Very simple to find, cheap to find. We have kitchen cloth. This kitchen cloth you can find in supermarkets, of course. Uh, newspaper, and we have also tissue paper. Tissue paper can come also from shoe boxes or uh, shops, florist shops. It's very easy to um, find these uh, recyclable materials to make the masks. And your teacher uh, will be able to find uh, a recyclable materials lists on the website, so that could go home and you can bring your goodies from home. Uh, I also have um, some clay here to make the mold for the mask, to create the, the shape of the face. But also if you have a bit more um, uh, budget, you could buy a mask made already in, in art shops. We also have a tray. This is a tray coming from food, from fish shops and a piece of um, material, thick material, so the, the clay is not going to uh, stick on, on, the, on the tray. Um, also the name is very important because everybody should be able to find the mask at the end of the first session when it dries and then goes into the second session. We need a clean wrap to uh, put over the clay if we're going to use the clay mold. The uh, glue that we are using for the paper mache um, project is this glue. It's called. It's already mixed, so there is no need to uh, mix with water. Uh, it's called Chroma 2 Classroom Glue. There are other glues that come as a powder. Uh, you might find that if you don't have the Chroma 2 glue, but the Chroma a two glue is perfect because it's already mixed with the right consistency and it's good for um, a paper mache, it's good for collage and it's good for many other applications in the classroom. If you're in a classroom situation, uh, I think every student should have a ball of clay about that size or you can have a slab of clay about that size. Here I have the ball of clay that I showed you before and I just like to start flattening because we have to make like a pizza sort of a shape like that if you are going to make a round mask. But it also remember that it could be a square mask. 
a rectangular mask, any any kind of shapes. So that's it's just pressing like that, pressing, 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 or simply with both hands in from a standing position like that, or throw it, throw it like that, and you see as as you throw the clay, the clay will flatten like this. Throw it a bit and press down with that part of your hand, pressing down, and that is getting into a pizza, a pizza shape like this. And as you press and as, as you throw, the clay will become thinner. So we have more or less a, a good size for a mask, a round mask there. The other alternative is to use a mold like that. The difference between the clay and the mold is that the clay gives the students a lot more possi possibilities to be very creative. Here I have a bundle of clay that I have prepared already um, with um, a sort of like a wet piece of cloth and plastic, so it's ready to go. It has been flattened like that. And now this looks like a pizza, it's quite flat, so we need to have it curved to, um, if you are going to wear, obviously you don't want to wear a flat um, mask. So with newspaper underneath that also has been prepared ahead, there is bunches of newspaper like this, you put it underneath and then you make that pressing on the sides there to make this into a nice curvy uh, piece of clay like that, ready to go now to add the features, um, the, the face, um, the nose, the eyes, the mouth. Here I have the clay ready with the newspaper underneath and it got a curved shape there and it's ready to go. So we have to think of, we could probably do a bit of a sketching here just for position where the eyes are going to go here, the mouth, I mean sorry, the nose and the mouth. So just a few lines to remind yourself where things are going. So I'll use this for the eyes because I like to have uh, openings there so I won't cover that with the paper when I put the paper on the top. Take it off and make a nose. Now I'm placing the nose here. I got a paddle pop stick and the nose ha can stick out like that can be a big nose, a big, um, you know, like a big, like a bird, or probably a dragon nose. You have to use your imagination to do nose and uh, mouth. So just pressing there a little bit. I'm pressing here, making sure that it's not going to go back to be flat. And there we have the nose. And for the mouth, we make a shape like that, very easy. Big shape, bulky because remember it's going to be covered. Place it there, join with the paddle pop stick like that, and then simply cut a line there and separate the, the um, separate and create the lips just by cutting a line there create the lips there, and the paper is falling, we need more paper, underneath there, just to, to keep that mask in that shape. Now these bottles, bottle to, uh, tops, the lids here, are just to um, remind you that we are going to cover this with paper and cloth and we need to have those holes as this one. This one, we made it like that. We made the holes just by keeping the bottle tops in there. And this is the next step. You cover the face with plastic wrap. Make sure that it goes around the nose, around the eyes, you press down like that. To, to keep the shapes. So in this case, we will need another bit for the back, for the, the, the around the mouth. 
press inside press inside there so the mouse is nice and clear the shape of the mouse I should say so that is done ready to apply the paper I have here everything ready to go the, the clay has been covered with a plastic wrap and push on like that so all the, the um, shapes you can go over the nose and the eyes and the eyebrows but also I have a little tray here that it also comes from the supermarket. Um, it's, a one, it's one of the recyclable materials that we have um, talked about before. I got a damp piece of cloth here, a rag, to wipe your fingers because first you are going to be dealing with clay, then you will be dealing with glue. So it's important that every student has a damp cloth like this. And uh, the little tray is to actually apply the glue. So I put my uh, rag there and I start the application of the different uh, papers. Now, when people do paper mache, normally it's about gluing newspaper on top and at the end some tissue paper. And they goes layer after, after layer after layer after layer. I have created a system where you don't have to do many layers because when working with children I discovered that they don't like to do 20 layers of newspaper or t even 10 layers of newspaper. So with my system you use a layer of this cloth that is very strong, two of newspaper and one or two of tissue at the end. So we'll start applying the blue cloth. This is the purpose of the little uh, a tray there. Everybody can bring a tray from home. They sub it everywhere these trays, and the glue in the container here. And you pick up the glue with your fingers like this, not with one finger because you will never um, finish gluing. Just your three middle fingers there, applying the glue on the st on the tray flat, and then two fingers or two hands like that, pick it up and apply there. So when you apply, you apply and rub it on like this. And take your time to rub on and to make those shapes, to rub on the shapes. Next, next one here, apply the glue flat with your three middle fingers there. Lift up and when you apply the second and the third and the fourth, you have to overlap. If you don't overlap your bits of um, a blue cloth or newspaper, it doesn't work. It has to be overlapped. And here, because I like to have the opening of the eyes, I'm going to push that around, apply, and rub it on, rub it on, and apply, run your fingers on the side, and then we go with the other one. Like that. And I got two there. That's on the nose. Apply a little bit more glue. The glue, I know that young children put a lot of glue on and it takes a long time to dry. So the glue should be just enough to wet your paper or your cloth like that. Okay, the first layer of the blue cloth has been finished. Uh, everything, as you can see here, is covered. Uh, the shapes of the eyebrows and the shape of the mouth and the nose are very, very distinctive. A bit more there, rubbing all the time. The overlapping is very important. And now I'm ready to go on and apply the first layer of newspaper. But I like to wipe my fingers with this rag and just leave the rag there ready to go for the next time. So this is the paper here. This is the newspaper the same way, exactly the same way you repeat the process that you did before, pick up, apply, and rub on. The rubbing on is very important. More paper. Always, always on the on the on flat, on a flat bit here. It could be the table if you are using um, a plastic uh, piece of paper on the table, could be that. Apply, overlap there, overlapping that bit and shape again, shape the, uh, in this case, the around the 
eyebrows, more application of glue there, picking up, applying on the eyebrows, and reshape and rub, rub, rub all the time. That is important. More paper. There. So I'll go around the eyes here. So you go all the way down here, all the way down here first, and then you start again at the, at the top. When you have done all over the first layer of paper, you start again at the top, applying the second layer of newspaper all the way down. If you want to do the tip of the nose, it's better to come underneath there and then roll around the paper like this. And because you are going to shape the nose again and rub it on, the shape of the nose comes out really, really, really nicely. So the, the next stage is going to be applied, and the last stage will be to apply the um, tissue. OK, again, wiping my hands with a wet cloth like that. And this time, I'm going to put the cloth here on the tray because we're not using the tray anymore for the tissue. With the tissue, you pick up the tissue dry and apply dry because it's impossible to handle tissue when it's wet because it dissolves. So you apply it dry and then with your fingers, pick up a bit of glue and rub the glue on the tissue like this. Apply dry, overlap, um, glue on the top like this rubbing. You see how beautiful it comes up? Um, another one there, overlapping, and around the eyes, and shaping with your fingers. Shaping by rubbing. Rubbing is very important. Dry tissue there around the nose. Shape around the eyes. Pick up a bit more glue from your container, and keep shaping and applying. For young children, uh, after you have finished one layer of the um, tissue, it probably be better to give them another colored tissue to do the second layer because it's hard to tell. So again, the application of the tissue is dry and then rubbing glue on the top. Position the tissue where you want it to go and rub the glue on the top. So this has been the first part of our project on paper mache masks. So it, it was about building the mask out of clay or using a plastic mold and paper mache like this. Uh, now it has been probably a week drying and it's ready to paint. The next session will be on painting. Thank you very much. See you in the next session. If you enjoy this project, please visit www.bravaartpress.com or find our videos on YouTube.